Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Tennessee State University, and we're fortunate to have with us to talk about Tennessee State University, the president of Tennessee State University, uh, Dr. Melvin Johnson. And of course, uh, Dr. Johnson, let me welcome you uh, to the show this morning. Well, Dr. Annie, I'm really pleased to be here, and thanks for the opportunity. And to tell you, Dr. Johnson, how delighted we are to have you here. And of course, we know that uh, you've been in uh, Nashville for a number of months now, and uh, that uh, your uh, coming was uh, highly anticipated, you see. And so, but we had, hadn't had an opportunity to uh, sit down and talk to you, and that's what we wanted to do today, to uh, have you to talk to us about uh, some of the things that perhaps motivated you to uh, come to Tennessee State University and to start by uh, giving us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important and eventually leading you to the uh, presidency of Tennessee State University and then after that we'll talk about other things. Okay, that's mm -hmm. really great. Uh, let me first say that um, I'm from Savannah, Georgia. I grew up in Savannah and attended the public schools there. Uh, upon graduation, I went to North Carolina A&T State University and left there with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Economics and uh, also was a distinguished military graduate. Went directly as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force and during that time I was uh, fortunate to receive a faculty teaching job at the United States Air Force Academy. That's when I first fell in love with higher education. Now uh, upon completing my uh, first degree at uh, Ball State University after uh, graduating from A&T. That was a master's in economics. I went on to Indiana University and took an MBA in business economics and public policy and then followed that with a doctorate in business economics and public policy from Indiana University. Uh, I joined the faculty again at the United States Air Force Academy then completed a distinguished military career and retired as a lieutenant colonel in 1990. Uh, after that retirement, I went to North Carolina A&T State University, my alma mater, and took a faculty position and ultimately took several administrative posts mm -hmm. at North Carolina A&T. Mm -hmm. Now, after that, I went to Winston-Salem State University mm -hmm. as the provost Good. and vice chancellor for academic affairs. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, when this position became open at Tennessee State mm -hmm. University, mm -hmm. I tell you, it was one of the things that um, had every single thing that I wanted to do professionally mm -hmm. was in this environment. Mm -hmm. Ten Tennessee mm -hmm. State University mm -hmm. has a great reputation, mm -hmm. a great faculty, mm -hmm. and a great student population. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dr. Johnson, uh, Tennessee State University, uh, established in uh, 1912, uh, has uh, done a tremendous, uh, has done tremendous work in terms of trying to educate uh, people all over the state of Tennessee. Uh, what did you hear in, in terms of doing your uh, careers uh, uh, about Tennessee State University, some of your first impressions in reference to this Well, I tell you, Tennessee State University has always been an institution that people externally throughout the United States mm -hmm. uh, really pays attention to. Mm -hmm. Uh, from the quality of its work in agriculture. It's a land-grant institution, mm -hmm. and so I knew of it there uh, as far as the 1890 land-grant mm -hmm. institutions are concerned. What great research was actually coming out in the service component mm -hmm. uh, that that particular um, program mm -hmm. has, uh, mm -hmm. has contributed, not only to the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. but nationally. Mm -hmm. Also, the strength of its uh, engineering program uh, is well mm -hmm. known throughout the country, mm -hmm. and I could go on and on and speak mm -hmm. to every single college mm -hmm. uh, at the university. Yeah. So it has mm -hmm. a grand reputation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Dr. Johnson, I think that we've talked about your background and uh, education and that thing, th those things, but uh, what about uh, the rest of your family? Uh, I think that uh, <clears throat> that's generally uh, uh, something that people like to know about in yes. terms of who is the uh, wife and uh, who is the, uh, the children. and That's very, very important because I think the uh, family determines who the individual is. And let's, and let's give you an opportunity I, to talk yeah, about And that. I think you're 100% correct there. Mm -hmm. Let me say that uh, my wife and I have known each other since uh, childhood. Mm -hmm. uh, we were childhood sweethearts. Mm -hmm. um, we also uh, really went through higher education mm -hmm. together. She has a doctorate from uh, Virginia uh, Tech mm -hmm. um, in instructional technology and has also been in academe mm -hmm. for a number of years. Mm -hmm. um, our children, we have uh, three adult children, mm -hmm. twin girls. Uh, one mm -hmm. of our daughters is uh, with uh, the HUD. She's a mm -hmm. lawyer. 
the other daughter um, is a an assistant uh, vice president mm -hmm. of Bank of America. She mm -hmm. lives in Charlotte. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then our son is a computer scientist. He mm -hmm. received his master's in computer mm -hmm. science and is doing well with Lucent Corporation. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. Johnson, I think we are almost ending uh, this first segment. And when we come back, we'll have you to uh, deal specifically with some of the other issues uh, at Tennessee State University and some of the other things that uh, you'd like for our audience to know in reference to you. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. We're talking to President.